Well, it could be a sign of things to come. Duke Energy announcing it needs less than half the real estate it currently uses for all of its employees as many transition to working remotely. The company says the move will ultimately save customers money but could signal a challenge to commercial real estate in Uptown. WCNC Charlotte's reporter Michelle Bowden is looking at the way Where's the Money is changing post-pandemic. This is the first major Charlotte company to make this sort of announcement that they're downsizing as more people work from home than the office. The power of the pandemic now on full display as Duke Energy announces they're going to need less than half the office space they once projected. Uh, because we're transitioning to a more hybrid work environment, we really didn't need as much real estate as we occupy. The Duke Energy Plaza, currently under construction in Uptown and set to be ready for workers in 2023, will eventually house all 6,000 of their Charlotte workers, even though there's only space for 4,400. Learned a lot of lessons from the pandemic. It showed that our employees are able to have flexible work options, a hybrid work environment, and still be able to get their jobs done while still maintaining collaboration and innovation. This will also save costs. We expect about 85 to $90 million in savings over the next five years, and that really benefits our customers. Once the new tower is complete, they'll be leaving the lease space at the Wells Fargo Center and selling off their Church Street and College Street facilities. The idea of someone having a permanent desk is probably not something that we're gonna have in the future, that there's gonna be apps and new technologies where you can reserve space. Sealed Air told us the same thing just last week as they test out a pilot program at their global headquarters in Charlotte where people reserve a workspace. They expect 800 of their 900 Charlotte-based employees to also split time between home and the office. People will be productive and they're driven to be effective and they want to be engaged and they want to be included and they, you know, they want to contribute. And actually this facilitates that in a very positive way. Talent recruiters say this is something most big employers are now considering. Is this just temporary? Do you think this is a shift in the way we're doing business now? I think it's definitely a shift. A recent study offered people either a $30,000 raise or the chance to work from home. 64% said they'd rather work from home. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.